Hey guys, Tim here with part 3 of our PHP MySQL forum tutorial series. Uh, in part 3 we're going to be uh, creating the page to view our category topics and we're also going to be creating the script and page that will allow us to create new topics. Um, in part 2 we left off with displaying the forum categories. Right here we have random forum and test category 1. Right now when you click on them they don't go anywhere. They're just there. So what we need to do is we need to create the page that will display what is inside of our forums categories. So we're going to open up Dreamweaver again. Right here we have our index page. What we're going to do, we're going to create a new PHP file. And what I'm going to do just to save myself some time, I'm just going to grab all of the code that's inside of our index.php and copy it into our new file. And then we'll delete everything inside of the content div right here. Okay, follow me. Go ahead and save this and we are going to save it as uh, view underscore category dot php and if we go here into design mode you can see that it just says view category up there and we have nothing in our content section so let's get started uh, to recap what we have here we just have our login form so if the session of view id is set then we're going to say it logged in a session username and if not we're going to display the login form so let's get started within our content section here we need to display the form tops we're going to need to include our uh, database connection file so include once oh I'm sorry well, it might help if we open up our PHP blocks here let's just try that for starters so include once connect.php And on our index page, we're going to add one line of code. And our output here in our while loop, underneath where we're selecting all the categories, right here uh, where the pound sign is on our uh, eight, uh, link tag here, we're going to type this in, view underscore category, which is uh, linking to the page that we just created, and we're going to put a variable after it, question mark, and we're going to call it CID for category ID. We put equals uh, double quote double quote inside of the double quotes. We're going to put two periods, and then we're going to put a variable inside the two periods. And what variable we're going to put in is ID, and the ID right here is the same as the category ID that we're um, capturing from the database up here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Go ahead and save our view category page. Go back here. We're going to refresh our index page. So if you notice on the bottom now. It says view category CID equals 1. If we click on it, it'll go to view category. And you can see it changed to CID equals 2. Return to the index page. Hit number 2, CID equals 2. So we know that's working. So go back to view category and we'll continue on. Um, bear with me for just one second. We need to get that variable ID that, or variable that is, or, uh, ID number that is inside that CID variable. So we're going to assign a variable called CI dollar sign or D CID equals the get value of CID, and this will capture what was in the URL string. We're just going to do another quick check. The same as up here. I'm just going to type it out. Okay, so I typed that back in, and what I have done is I've just created another if and else statement. I said if the session ID or session of UID is set, we're going to say we're going to provide a link to create a topic. And if not, and they're not logged in, we're going to create a uh, just standard text saying, please log in, blah, 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 create topic. I didn't want to add it up here on the forum section. I just want to keep it separate just so it wasn't so confusing. So moving on. Under that, we're going to start uh, querying out our database. So dollar SQL equals query, you want to say select ID from categories where ID equals single quote, single quote. Inside of those, we're going to put double quotes, two double quotes. Inside of those, two periods. And we're going to put our CID uh, variable right there. And between the last double quote and the single quote, we are going to just put limit Oops, limit of 1. 
That way we're only getting one category out of our database. We're going to query to our database right here. I'm going to say or die MySQL error like so. And we're going to say if MySQL num rows of our result is equal to 1, we're going to do this. And if we're not, and it doesn't return any result, we're just going to do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to echo out uh, just a, a link to the index.php page. Oops, I seem to be in single quotes. And we're going to say return to forum index. The line break. And then underneath that, we're just going to echo out paragraph tag. You are trying to view a category that does not exist yet. Okay, so if we save this and we run our view category, refresh this, oh, I have an error on line 39. It's always good to test these things out. Um, forgot an equal sign right here. So I'll save that, refresh. And let's just try this. I'm just going to give it a CID of 3, because I know there's no category topics in there yet. So, view a category that does not exist, that is great because category 3 does not exist. And then also we have a link to return, return to the index. So if we click that, we'll go back to index.php. Okay, so from there, we're going to continue writing our code within the first if statement. So this is if there is a category. We're going to query in the database again. We're going to say $SQL2 is equal to uh, select uh, asterisk all from topics where category underscore ID is equal to single quote, single quote inside of those, we're going to double quotes and uh, periods. I'm going to put CID again. And then we're going to say order by topic. Oops. Let me just get that right. Order by topic reply date and we'll see why well, just a bit and we're going to say descending. We're going to query our, our results here and add variable res2 mysql underscore query of sql2 or die mysql error and we're going to say if mysql num rows of our second result variable is greater than zero. This means that they returned topics. We're going to do this or else we are going to print out and say uh, pretty much the same thing we have at the bottom. So I'm just going to copy and paste this code right here, but we're going to change it up just a little bit. Bring that over. And give them a link to return to the index page, but then we're going to change this to say there are no topics in this category yet. And then after the period here, we're just going to put uh, uh, after this last quote, sorry, I'm rambling on words here. We're going to put a period. We're going to put our dollar sign logged variable, another period, double quote, and then we're going to open finish off our uh, paragraph tag and end it with a double quote again. And this logged variable we're setting up here, so depending on the session.